This Valentine's Day, there is only one thing that Andrew Juwanu wants to do. Walk hand in hand with my wife. Even though they've been married for 13 years, Andrew and his wife Amy have never been able to go for a walk holding hands. That's because Andrew is one of 200,000 Americans diagnosed with severe Tourette syndrome. His Tourette's would cause him to curse, yell, spit, and jerk uncontrollably. For Andrew, love never seemed like a possibility. I had dreams, a lot of dreams about me getting married and wake up in tears because it was just a dream. But then Andrew met a stranger who wanted to set him up on a date. Andrew said, I haven't been able to find someone who can look past the Tourette's and love me for me. My mom says, you haven't met my daughter yet. Within a year, Amy and Andrew were married. But with his Tourette's, even walking down the aisle was a challenge. And holding Amy's hand while doing it was impossible. If I was hand in hand with Amy, I would stumble and pull her to the ground. After a lifetime of suffering, Andrew came to the Mount Sinai Hospital and learned of a surgery that was still new for Tourette's, deep brain stimulation. You can feel the bumps. You yeah. Feel, yeah. Okay. Yeah, you can feel the bumps. Yeah, I feel it right there. Two leads were implanted in his brain. Wires run to batteries implanted in his chest. It's like a brain pacemaker. The results have been incredible. When it works, um, you get to see miracles. From this to this. And on this Valentine's Day, Amy and Andrew have already gotten their wish, side by side and hand in hand. Andrew says that 95% of his symptoms are now gone. This is, of course, brain surgery, and with that comes certain risks. Up to 3% of people experience brain hemorrhages, though Andrew says he was so determined to find relief that that never even factored into his mind. Lana Zak, ABC News, New York.